My name is Wojo Adekende Samuel. I'm the fertility scientist at Tabin's Fertility and Anthology. What I want to tell you this evening will shock you. But that's the fact. Low progesterone is normal in women that is looking for food of the womb. I repeat to myself, low progesterone is normal in a woman looking for food of the womb. You see, I don't know whether there is any study in this part of the world, I mean in Nigeria, about the prevalence of low progesterone in women looking for food of the womb. Any study that I've come across will be from abroad. But majority of professionals, they have castigated progesterone as a factor of infertility for any woman that is looking for food of the womb. I want to tell you today that progesterone is not directly causing infertility and it cannot directly cause infertility. That is the fact. If you have any opinion contrary to what I'm telling you, you are entitled to your opinion, I'm entitled to my own opinion. I'm talking about what I've seen in my 27 years of practice. Progesterone is not a direct cause of infertility in any woman. So, if you go to any lab and you run the Mona test, LHFSA, prolactin progesterone, and any professional told you that you have low progesterone or high prolactin, that is where you are waiting on God for foot of the womb for four years, three years, two years, three months, two months. I am telling you, call my name, is a lie. Progesterone is a hormone that is being produced by coupled lithiums. What is coupled lithium? When you release your egg at the mid circle, the time we assume that you ovulate, that ovary, where the air comes out, the remaining is called coupled lithiums. It's supposed to produce progesterone for whom to prepare itself for implantation. So if you release your egg and the ovary is not producing progesterone, if you are doing a proper profiling, progesterone is supposed to be taken as a test immediately after you are being confirmed that you ovulate, at least minimum of 48 hours. If the progesterone is low, or the ovary that releases the eggs fail to produce enough progesterone, and if you do the test and it is low, and it is being balanced by taking maybe injection or you taking drugs and you repeat that test and it is normal. That means the expectation of that cycle is that you are going to be pregnant. That means it is not directly causing infertility. If it is low and you are being given a treatment, maybe you take progesterone injection or you take a drug called Tofasto, you finish that drug, and you go ahead and go and test your progesterone, and the progesterone is still low. That is when the woman is having serious problem. But if you have been given progesterone treatment, and you test again, and it is normal, it is not a problem. It is not the cause of infertility. So, I'm telling you, it may be a rude shock to you. Progesterone cannot cause infertility directly it is when it's being tested after it is being low and the woman is not responding that it becomes a problem progesterone is hormone in the system of majority of women in this part of the world up to 59 percent of women has low progesterone anyone that gets pregnant and the body readjusts afterwards the woman has progesterone and the problem progesterone will cause for you is it can only cause a blighted ovum or a sac will be formed but the fetal pose will not be there or a sac is formed fetal pose is formed but later the fetal activity of the pregnancy stop progressing that is the problem 
protest to run could cause if it is not being managed at the onset of pregnancy. So, I want to disabuse your mind that if anybody tells you that your progesterone is the reason why you are not getting pregnant, tell the person that, please, investigate me for that. That is not news. My name is Wojo Adeke in this I'm the fertility scientist at Abin's Fertility and Andrology. Till I come your way next time, God is good. Bye.